CBS News. CBS News on the hour, presented by Indeed.com. I'm Monica Ricks in New York. Investigators are scrambling in several states right now to solve deadly shootings, including a massacre that left four people dead at a Sweet 16 party in Alabama. CBS's Omar Villafranca is in Dadeville. I heard the gunshot. I started to run. Then I came back when it stopped. Latonya Allen recalled the moment she heard gunfire erupt at her daughter's Sweet 16 party in Dadeville, Alabama, Saturday night. Among the dead, her 18-year-old son, Phil Dowdell. A star athlete, Dowdell was just weeks from graduation. At least two people were also killed in Louisville, Kentucky, less than a week after a bank massacre. And in Kansas City, a 16-year-old is fighting for his life. Dee Porter says the teen got shot for ringing the wrong doorbell. He was one block off from where he was supposed to be. So ringing that doorbell innocently um, did not, no one should shoot through a door. The homeowner was arrested but released. And I know we're sick of talking about it. These shootings are happening nonstop, and it's pushed hundreds to march today in Washington. <laughs> Protesters called for a federal ban on assault weapons as lawmakers return from recess. Kitty Brandner's with March 4th. It's gotten to a point where students have to advocate for their own right to survive a school day. The U.S. says the Chinese government is running a secret police station in New York City to intimidate political opponents. Here's CBS's Steve Futterman. Breon Peace is the U.S. attorney for Eastern New York. On at least one occasion, an official with the Chinese National Police directed one of the defendants to help locate a pro-democracy activist. The two defendants in the case are charged with obstruction of justice and acting as a Chinese agent without informing authorities. The White House is still downplaying the release of classified military documents that reportedly including intel on the war in Ukraine. National Security Council spokesman John Kirby. Most of what has been released reflects incomplete snapshots in time and does not reflect the most up-to-date or latest assessments. But lawmakers still want to know how a 21-year-old Air National Guardsman had access to that material. A 13-year-old just got banned from an amusement park in North Carolina. Officials say he climbed inside a claw machine hoping to score a prize, but got stuck until paramedics arrived. And cheers today for Evans Chabet, who won the best Boston Marathon again. He crossed the finish line at 2 hours, 5 minutes, and 54 seconds. It's his third fastest time in race history. American Susanna Scaroni won her first Boston title in the women's race. This is CBS News. Well, that's today's news, today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I want to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cam News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody.